is up guys, Lee here. Today I'm bringing you guys a short film review that I recently had the privilege of viewing called Hemlock. Now this is a short film. This won't be, you know, out to the public anytime soon. Latest that I know of, probably next year at best. It's a short film made by some creative people. It is directed by a friend of mine named Asif and many other talented people behind the work of this short film. Total in aspect, it's 16 minutes and 31 seconds, but 13 minutes of actual footage, and then the remaining parts just in credits. Just right off the bat, I thought it was a very well-made short film. This is his first time doing something like this. Uh, and, you know, he knocked it out of the park. But, you know, he's a really talented filmmaker. I, I think if he keeps it up, if he, you know, works on perfecting his craft even more from just projects like this, I can see a bright future for him. Hey, it's Lee here. I just want to pop in real quick. I want to give some details about this short film. So it does come from a new studio called DNA Studios. It was formed last year. Uh, it's a start of a new collab between industry professionals and Hemlock is actually their debut project. So yeah, this is uh, all the more reason why I feel like you guys should go support this. Because we need, we need new fresh talent in the industry, guys. Uh, before we all get replaced by uh, AI. So go support <laughs> whenever it drops. Now, I know this is going to be sounding like a biased review because I'm friends with the guy and all that. No, this is going to be clear cut review of things that did work with this short film versus what didn't work. Right off the bat, I just want to get into what did work. The story itself was great. You know, like there, it's a huge metaphor. Like I don't, also beforehand, before I get into anything, I don't want to delve, dive a lot of stuff because I'm kind of treading waters here uh, on, you know, information. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to not spoil for you guys as far as story goes i thought it was really excellent you know uh the themes the message what went into this is it hits home with me a little bit i'm sure it will hit home close to many of you who watch this i love the cinematography in some aspects i thought it was really well done and you know there was some inspiration to go behind this uh i there was certain sequences i'm not gonna say what but there was some very Sam Raimi vibes that I got from here and it, it it was executed well done. I'm sure it took like so many takes regarding a certain movie <laughs> of Sam Raimi's. I'm not gonna like, you know, his iconic shot, not with the eye, but like, yeah, I'm trying not to spoil, <laughs> but yes, I'm sure if you know, if you're up into the film world and stuff and you know Sam Raimi's iconic shots, I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. You know how I mentioned it's not with the eye shots that I mentioned. It's regarding a certain movie in a franchise that he's done this for. I thought he really executed this very well. There is also another sequence. Uh, this one's too spoil, uh, too much of a spoil to give out, but there is, I thought he did really well with, it's towards the very end when he incorporates another kind of media that I as as much as I'm going with this that's as about as far as I'm gonna say what that sequence is the secondary character was astonishing you know I thought he was more interesting compared to uh, the main character uh, and this is where I'm gonna go into the cons so I wasn't a big fan of you know the main leading uh, actress because in a way like I get her purpose I really do when it comes to characters like I was more interested in the secondary character of this story compared to her because there's a mystery about this guy and once you get to know that mystery he's like oh wow yeah I feel I feel more of a connection towards him than I do with character a acting was you know I mean, it's a short film, you know, you, you're not going to get some Oscar worthy performances. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, acting was OK for, for, for a short film. It was OK. 
And I'm sure that if these guys keep at it, they'll perfect their craft even more and hope nothing for the best for them. I know I said in my pros that I love the end sequence a lot due to what, uh, what was happening. Even though I liked it, I was a bit confused about the end because it regards within the second character and it kind of leaves a big question like, huh? Like, like where did this guy go you know <laughs> like he kind of just disappeared i guess i i don't know what happened to them uh my little pet peeve on that one adr which is automated dialogue replacement like let's say this for example talking like this from the side right it's a great shot the director is looking at but he's not really liking the line so in a different take although same shot he doesn't like it there's a few errors in the shot but he does like what the actor is saying. So they take that audio clip from that one and place it into the clip of the shot that they do like. It's a big old jargon of words, <laughs> but yes. It wasn't really, a, there was a few times, like I think there was only two instances where the ADR was just like, not really hitting, but hey, this is all to learn, right? And like, again, this is Asa's first time doing something like this. So you know what? Big props to him. It's better than anything that I could have done. And I'm, and I'm still struggling on writing a script. Like, I really enjoyed myself with this. There was some things that pulled me out a bit, pulled me back in. Great artistic choices within this film. Uh, even though for like, you know, 13 minutes, it's a short film. I, you're not gonna, you're gonna, in, in those 13 minutes, he, he told a great story. Yeah, there is some hit, uh, misses in this, but what story doesn't, right? But that's besides the point. This movie was great. I had it, I enjoyed myself. It really struck with me uh, due to the themes and message within this film. I give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. Guys, if you want to follow more of Asif's work, I will link his socials down below this video. Make sure you go support the dude. I see anyone going big in this industry, it's definitely Asif. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.